Hello, Miss Allison. Hi, Manny. How are you? I am wonderful to bless us always, and so are you. And congrats <laughs> on Laurel Canyon. It's an immersive documentary about dreams, passion, art, and music, and I love it. Great. Thank you so much. Lovely to hear. Uh, now, so you've set your sights on the Go-Go's and the Eagles. So why Laurel Canyon, a place in time? It's fun. I, it's a project that I was interested in doing 20 years ago when I lived in Los Angeles. I, I've always been a huge Doors fan. And when I was researching the Doors, I discovered all the connections they had to different artists and the, their life in Laurel Canyon. But at the time, it was really hard to do that because the music rights were owned by so many different people. It was an impossible thing. So when it came back around 20 something years later, I jumped at it. I was so thrilled. That's great. And I, I love this devi device you use. We only hear the interviewee and not see them speak. It's kind of unsettling in the beginning. And then it just becomes like a stream of unconsciousness. Right, exactly. I mean, we always, that was always the intention. We only wanted Henry Dilton and Reet Wild, who were our documentarians, who had something to do on camera, showing us their pictures, their slides. Um, we wanted them to be on camera, but everyone else early on, we decided no on camera. We wanted it to be immersive and in the time and you don't get out of that time. And, you know, yeah, once you get used to it, you just go with the flow of it, I think. Right, right, right. Well, along that same question, though, um, how did you devise a plan of attack? I mean, how did you want to tell this wonderful story? Well, we wanted to tell it exactly how we ended up telling it. It was, you know tricky at times. It, it, initially, I was concerned it might feel a little bit more like an anthology, like going from one artist to the next. Right. But what we discovered were all these amazing connections that they had, some very subtle, some less subtle, I mean, some more direct. Um, but they were all in this place at this time. And they, you know, they all connected with one another. I mean, like the monkeys that you wouldn't have thought that they were all involved with with all these artists as well, but they were all very much a part of this community that that was very giving and caring with one another. Well, it's a perfect mashup, if you may, you know, right? Yeah. There's this wonderful uh, group of talented people, music, music people, and then at the same token, there's all this civil unrest and civil rights and man on the moon. I mean, I mean, just great, great, great um, subjects there. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, you know, it started out, I think, a little bit more innocently, as Nareet said, you know, we were kind of all in our little bubble. And then we started realizing that there's this whole world out there. And the, obviously the Vietnam War played a huge part in that and becoming, you know, it was an undertone of all their lives. These guys were all, you know, draft age. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think of the state of the music right now? I mean, I, you know, I love music, all kinds of music. Um, there's the music of that era will always have a special place in, in my heart. Um, but you know, if I, I mean, I love all music. So, um, I, I think that, I hope that artists can look at that, at this film, at this series and see what, wonder what it might've been like to be a musician and an artist in a different time if, when it was less about driving to make money and more about creating the art. That's not to say that they're not creating art now, they are, but it's a tougher business now. That's right. So, so as I mentioned earlier, you did the Go-Go's, the Eagles, Laurel Canyon artists. What's next? Is there an artist, either contemporary or the past, that you want to document soon? Um, not sure yet. I'm, you know, wa wavering on some different ideas at the moment. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do next, actually. Aww, so so these stories are great because they're so rich. As, as this documentary proved, music brings the people together even now at this time of the pandemic. Um, so how are you keeping your spirits up during the pandemic, Miss Allison? Well, I live on a horse rescue farm, so I have lots of animals to take care of that keeps me busy. So I have that to focus on and, you know, working on, you know, developing some ideas and, you know, just trying to do what everybody else is trying to do. And just, you know, lucky that I have all of this wonderful nature around me to feel at peace in. Oh, well, thank you so much again. Congrats. Thank you. Thank Congrats. you so much. And keep safe, Miss Allison. You too.